All right, we got all four uh, tires off here. We just ordered some new ones up. Let's go check them out. All right, here are the new tires. So these were on eBay. You can see nice tread on there. I don't know what the brand is. Let's see. Wanda. <laughs> Wanda tires. Interesting. Never heard of that, but we'll see if they hold up here. Made in China. But uh, they're the right size, so we'll see. We've got 25 by 8 through 12 for the front, and then 25 by, what is it? 25 by 10 through 12 for the rear. All right, new tires are back. Looking good. We're gonna install these once we get the brake fixed. If you guys remember last video, we picked this thing up for $250. It was in rough condition, would not shift, would not do anything, would not move. And uh, we figured out that the belt was completely, completely torn up in here. So we ended up getting a new belt for it as well. So check out the last video to see how bad this thing was. We also repaired some of the plastics. There's a bunch of cracks in the plastics. I mean, what do you expect for $250? So today we're fixing all that stuff up and hopefully riding it for the first time. So let's begin by fixing the brake. The brake pads were all racked last video, so. See, that was just broken off. That one's Barely holding on. Alright. Right. See what the new ones look like here. Hopefully these match up. Look to be the same. We will see. The springs are a lot stronger, I can tell you that right now. See if that's working. Okay, cool. Looks like that's working. Just gonna adjust it a little bit. So right when it hits no slack and then
All right, all the tires are on, looking great. Look at that, looking pretty awesome. All right, we got the brand new belt in the mail here. Hopefully it's the right kind. It said it was, bought this off at Amazon, so we will see. Um, we're gonna take off this clutch, the primary clutch, get it around there, put it back on, and we'll see if it actually moves. This is kind of a determining factor on where we go from here. So if it doesn't move, then we probably have to tear on the engine. But if it does move, then we can move on and uh, we can actually ride this thing. So let's see if the $250 ATV will move with just a new belt. Should be interesting. Built around here. Looks kind of small to me, but we'll see. All right, belt is on. All right, clutch is on. Let's see what happens when we fire it up. Let's see if we're in neutral here. Ooh, she's dying now. Gas on. Gas is on. Who thinks she's gonna move? She's just killing instantly. All right, I think we're gonna put it in gear and just see if it goes forward a little bit. Here we go. Oh, she's moving. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. Oh yeah. All right, she moves. Let's get the cover back on here and uh, get everything back together. All right, let's see if she moves.
All right, forward, low, high, reverse, all work. So it was the belt the whole time. So I'm thinking what chewed up that belt was this gasket. I think the guy put the gasket on wrong and this metal gasket chewed it up. That's kind of what I'm thinking, so I just put gasket maker on it instead of that. All right, let's get this oil filter changed out here. Looks like there's a Wix in there right now. We already drained out the oil. We'll put some fresh stuff in. This thing takes 2.9 quarts of oil. All right, quick check on the dipstick here. Let's see where we're at. You can see we're at the high mark. So oil change is done. All right, this is the seat cover that was on it. You can see all the duct tape. The seat, the actual seat's pretty nice. The foam seems to be good still. It's just a lot of duct tape. Um, the cover I bought was only like 35 bucks. So it's like, instead of making your machine look like crap, I actually put $30 into it and uh, get a seat cover for it. I just don't get it. But uh, here's the seat cover for it. Just a plain basic seat cover. And uh, we're gonna replace that. I just, <laughs> I just don't get how this machine got so, so bad. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. So we're gonna go around, get all the staples out. Um, usually I use a screwdriver, just get those out quick. So as you can see, a bit of a process to do this, but it takes about 30 minutes. And then your, your machine looks a lot better. So it's definitely worth it. See if this old cover can come off of here. All right, there we go. 
There's the old cover. All right, here we go. We're gonna start with the front here first. Get that lined up properly. Put a couple staples in there. Make sure it's all good to go. Stretch. I want to come to the sides. And try to stretch that over. Again. Take a heat gun, heat this whole thing up so it can stretch. All right, new seat going on. All right, that looks a lot better. Look at that. Now we have to paint the front rims black to match the back. But it's looking pretty good. There's Vinny over there. Vinny, what you doing? Snooping around. <laughs> looking guilty. All right, so everything on this thing is fixed up. It starts right up, no issues at all. Lights all work. Both lights are working. No smoking at all. Things looking pretty good. We got the front wheels painted black. Match the back. The one piece we are missing is the side plastic right here. I looked on eBay for probably two hours and I could not find anything um, that would work for that. So kind of a bummer. But at least we have this side cover. So for 250 bucks, I think we did pretty good. So let's go test it out at the land and uh, see what she can do. All right, made it out to the land here. Let's test out the $250 Suzuki Iger Quad Runner. 
I still can't believe this thing was 250 bucks. Pretty good deal. And I think we've got about 50 bucks for the seat. It's like 250 for the tire, so $300 into it. Plus, what else do we have? The belt was another 50, so four. So about $650 into the machine, which isn't too bad. I didn't have to buy all new tires, but I wanted to. I mean, if you're gonna put two on, you may as well put the other two on. <laughs> so, let's see how she runs today. Um, I did notice the speedometer is working. So the original miles on this thing are 2,427 miles. So that's good. Pretty low miles for a 4x4. I'll check the 4x4, make sure that's working as well. It's shifting.
All right, just saw a mouse run out of here. It looks like a mouse got to my engine. That's not good. So there's a mouse nest all in here. This cover can come off of here. But uh, we got cut this all one more time before winter. Uh, the soybeans aren't even close to being done yet. So I'm sure the farmers can harvest those end of October, I'm guessing. But uh, yeah, the grass is hardly growing this time of year in Motoma. So we can cut it one more time and then we should be good for winter. We'll see if the uh, $250 machine can, can pull this thing. But first we gotta get that mouse nest out of here. Hopefully we don't find a live one in here. They're really gross. E. Definitely a mouse nest in there. Bunch of feathers and grass. I got my gloves here. I'll just have to use the pliers. Let's see what's in there. I feel like a live mouse is gonna be in there. If you don't get that mouse nest out, your machine's gonna overheat and uh, it's not good.
Alright, so we've been riding this thing and cutting grass for probably about two hours now. Never overheated, never shut off, nothing wrong with it at all, so it's working out great. These tires are awesome for the sand, I don't slip at all. 4x4 is working great, everything's working. Brakes are working, low, high, neutral, everything is working flawlessly on this thing. So. I think we did pretty good for 250 bucks. I can't believe it was just that belt that was wrong with it. $35 belt, and uh, she's fixed up, so pretty crazy. But yeah, let's go get her cleaned up and uh, see what she looks like. I haven't pressure washed her yet. All right, she's all cleaned up. Looking really good. Turned out really good. Especially for starting with a $250 quad. Just missing that side piece. So if anybody has one for sale, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll buy a side piece from you but I couldn't find one on eBay. It's pretty clean. Not a bad looking machine. Not too bad. I painted the racks black. Those were getting pretty rusty. So, she cleaned up pretty good. Seat turned out pretty good. The foam was a little bit bumpy in there, but seat cover really helped a lot. So there's the final look. So I hope you guys enjoyed the process of picking this thing up and uh, fixing it up and getting it running and driving. Obviously it was a little bit of a risk picking it up. Um, I thought for sure it would be like a full engine rebuild, trying to get this thing to shift and move, but it ended up being just the belt. So we, we really lucked out there. Um, and I stuck another, what was it, 400 bucks into it for tires and the seat cover. So got about $650 into it. And uh, I don't think you can buy a 4x4 for $650, a running, driving 4x4. So I think we did pretty good. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next video. And until next time, we are out.